You are tired of seeing yourself daily in the mirror with that trimmed haircut style, and you want to change to something new, big, and flowy haircut. If that's the case, this is a perfect video for you. In this video, I will cover what the flow haircut style truly is, what you need to achieve that style, the time it takes to achieve it, and how to maintain that style for a long period. So let's get started. The flow hairstyle, also called the dream flow, mostly features longer hair and flows naturally, usually with layers that add movement and texture. The length of hair varies from medium to long. There are multiple flow haircut styles. I categorized it in eight different styles. Classic flow, surfer flow, hockey flow, curly flow, wavy flow, layered flow, short flow, and the last and most desirable is dream flow. It is very, very important to know which style you're actually looking for. You can pause the video here and think which style you want to go with that perfectly looks good on you. Think of it? Now, let's see how to achieve it the right way. Achieving a flow hair style can take several months to a year, depending on how fast your hair grows and length you want. So it is important to be patient and don't give up. The journey to a great flow hair style starts with a visit to your barbershop. The style you chose before, show it to your barber and tell them what you actually want to achieve. But you may be thinking, Ali, why do I have to go to my barber if I have to just grow my hair? You could, and it might turn out okay. But if you show to your barber the style you're aiming for, they can help manage your hair so it doesn't look messy as it grows. This often involves a quick trim to help it lie better as it gets longer. Over the next few months, you can return for maintenance trims to avoid a messy look. How often you need trims depends on how fast your hair grows. But every 6 to 8 weeks is a good rule of thumb to avoid split ends. It might seem stupid uh, when you're trying to grow your hair out, but these small trims can actually help. Don't worry, you won't be getting a major haircut that hinders your progress. The barber will just tidy up and add some texture to keep your hair looking great. Some of you may be questioning, Ali, if I have thin hair, can I still achieve that perfect flow hairstyle? The answer is yes. The trick is to use cutting and styling methods like layers and texture to create volume. It's a good idea to talk to your barber who can give you personalized tips to maximize your thin hair's potential. When growing your hair, it is often advised to shampoo only two to three times a week. However, most supermarket shampoos contain harsh chemicals like sodium lauryl sulfate, which strips your hair of natural oils and proteins. This can dry and weaken your hair. Studies show that hair treated with sulfates loses more protein than hair washed with just water. You can't stop washing your hair completely, but you can switch to a sulfate-free shampoo. Also, avoid brightly colored shampoos that can damage your hair. These shampoos gently clean your hair, preserving its natural moisture and making it healthier after each wash. You'll go through different phases when you're growing your hair. One of the toughest phases is when your hair is not short anymore, but not long either. This is what I call the awkward stage. It takes patience and a bit of creativity to manage this phase. You can wear hats or beanies to keep your hair out of your face and eyes, which can be easier than styling. For activities like working out, using a headband can also help. Don't let anyone discourage you from growing your hair long. Some people might say it is not worth the effort or that you won't look good, but ignore these opinions and stay focused on what you want. Once you get through it, you'll see progress and feel more confident about your hair growth journey. The final length of your flow hairstyle is up to you, but typically, the top of your hair should reach your ears for it to be considered a flow hairstyle. For a flow hairstyle, the top of your hair should be longer than the sides and back. Before you start growing out the sides and back, let the top get longer so they are not all the same length. While waiting for the top to grow, you can either keep the sides and back short with a buzz cut or ask your barber for a scissor cut to keep them tapered. When the top is about 3 inches longer than the sides and back, you can start growing out the rest of your hair. At this point, avoid getting the sides buzzed when you go for a trim. While growing your hair, you can take biotin supplements. Now, biotin is a type of vitamin that belongs to the B-complex group. It helps keep your skin, nails, and hair healthy. Research published in the Journal of Clinical and Aesthetic Dermatology shows that taking biotin orally can improve hair growth within 90 to 180 days. Biotin not only speeds up hair growth, but also strengthens your hair follicles. This is really important 
As your hair grows longer, it needs more support. It would be best to take precautions when doing activities that might harm your hair like swimming in chlorinated water or spending a lot of time in the sun. Wear a swim cap and use hair products with UV protection to keep your hair healthy. Remember to stay hydrated too. Drinking plenty of water is crucial. It ensures that your hair follicles receive the moisture they need to grow strong and healthy hair. It might surprise you, but water makes up nearly 25% of the weight of each strand of hair. Drinking at least 2 liters of water daily can boost hair strength and promote faster growth. As your hair grows longer, it tends to get tangled more easily. It is important to untangle it, not just to look good, but also for your hair's health. Your scalp produces natural oils that protect and strengthen your hair. Brushing your hair helps spread these oils evenly from the roots to the tips, making your hair look shiny and healthy. Use a wide tooth comb to gently detangle your hair as it prevents breakage. Now you have a perfect length of your hair at this stage and it is time to make that proper style you have always dreamt of. For this, you need a few tools and products to achieve the perfect slow hairstyle. Grab your hair dryer, a round brush for added volume, a comb for parting your hair, and texturing spray. Now, let's get into the step-by-step -step process of creating a flow hairstyle. Start by parting your hair in the desired direction. A side part often works well for flow hairstyles, but feel free to experiment with different partings to find what suits you best. Apply a small amount of volumizing mousse to your roots for added lift and volume. Gently massage the product into your hair. Using your hair dryer on a medium heat setting, begin drying your hair while using a round brush to create movement. Focus on lifting the roots and directing the hair away from your face for that effortless flow effect. Once your hair is mostly dry, switch your hair dryer to a cool setting to set the style and add shine. Continue using the round brush to shape your hair and enhance the flowy look. You can use texturing or sea salt spray for added texture and definition. Spray it lightly through your hair and scrunch with your fingers to create that tousled look. To finish your flow hair style, you can use a light hole hairspray to set the look in place while still maintaining that natural movement. And there you have it. An amazing flow hairstyle perfect for any day or a night out. Getting your flow hairstyle is first big achievement. But maintaining it is another thing you have to keep in your mind. And take care of your hair is a key to maintain it. Let me know, when are you going to start growing your hair and getting flow hairstyle? If you don't know your face shape, you can watch this video to know more about your face shape and which hairstyle looks better on you.